Hello everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So we are at the Baron's... Uh, I don't know what you would call this, it's not really a castle. But anyway, so just to recap, he has agreed to tell us about Ciri if we help him find his missing wife and daughter. So we're gonna go. When she was a babe, okay. my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Your bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. All right, Try so... not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Okay. So yeah, we're investigating their rooms to see if we can find any clues to uh, what's happened to them. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Deep nicks, hit with a heavy object. Huh, rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. off. Could find something else. Spruce though. wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. <coughs> Don't poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those Bastards, if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing, not a one of them. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. 
Give your men Ervalus? Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. I want to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. I actually like the Pella. There's nothing really wrong with him. He's a bit strange, but... Yes. <laughs> and you... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but you do find out more about him killing his father. He did do it, but... You understand why. That's all I'm going to say. We'll just have a look. I mean grab these so we can have some contracts to do later I'm not gonna do any Gwent because I suck at Gwent so anyway I think it would be a bit boring to watch anyhow since it's just playing a card game you I think your two swords can take on 14. yeah Okay. Go, go. I hope there's not too much um background noise. But it's actually an extremely windy day today, like really really windy but it's a little bit scary so and hopefully there's no power out or anything <laughs> that would suck thanks i might oops i might just talk to her i can't remember if this is for real or if it's a trap help an old feeble woman What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Our cows will croak, kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fighting evil? That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines? I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods will guide you. Okay, so it was just a short little thing. Alright. Let's carry on. I was gonna say it's hard to see the path around. Right? Take it easy. What do you want? Wanna to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. 
told Edric to eat rowan berries, lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse, and he's got hardened pustules all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the uh -oh. crossroads. Oh well. You're probably all just like them. So, I have no problem at all with killing you. Because usually I would um, use delusion, but as you may have seen, I don't have a high enough level to do it. Um, and yeah, obviously I um, killed those guys at the crossroads this time. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Who cares? And I just remember too, I think I can level up. Um, that delusion thing just reminded me, yeah. So I might just level up delusion since... Yeah, I think... Is that it? Yep. And we'll do it again, because it can be really, really useful. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. You were expecting me. Aye. As the bones declared I should. They shall come who stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Well, well, that just proves that they were also scum. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, princess, where have you got to, girl? Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. 
Okay. Let's find princess. She's back here in the woods. Oh, I think there's also a few wolves that we'll need to take care of. Yes. Hi, wolfies. I feel bad, but you are trying to kill me, so I guess I have to defend myself. thing is her. The sound waves or whatever you want to call them. There you are. Ah, oh, hello. Come on, okay. let's go see the pillar. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. Do I really tree. have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. Don't go back. This way, Where princess. You go? Princess, you're silly. Come on, follow the bell. Nice bell. Oh no! Bear. No! Bear. Run. Oh, it's huge. Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay. Come on, princess. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? The storm, damn it. Almost there. You're no roach, and then we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Yeah, in case you're wondering, he names every single horse roach. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! For you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back.
child that lives not, yet did not die. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. What is with people at the end of cutscene just pushing past me? Um, but yeah, so I have never um, killed the botchling and done the blood ritual. I've always... Um, you know, got the spirit to help me, and I just think that seems like a nicer way of doing it. Um, and then you Come also on, don't have to fight it. So that's what I'm gonna do again. Um, but for it, first we have to go back to the Baron and talk about what we've learned. I sort of forgot that that happens. <laughs> okay. mm. Oops. I, that was weird. I was trying to... Oh, oh. I was trying to turn, but Roach wasn't turning properly. I don't know what happened there. Oh, watch out, people. Okay, I might just um, get off because there's too many people in the way. <gasps> Whoa! What is happening? Oh my gosh, that was so weird. 
please ignore that. Okay, let me through. Oh, so they call it a castle. These guys are just standing around. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple? Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Okay, come on. I always forget which way to go when I do this, even though I've played it a bunch of times. Okay. I just need it. Get. Get. I thought we just smashed the. On, horses. Come on, horses. Come on, horses. You can leave. Horses. Where's the car? Shit. to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit I do think you're a prick. 
Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Scenes. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. I just want to say, because you may wonder... Okay, so the first couple times I played, I, you know, just completely div didn't give a shit about what the Baron had to say. I was just like, no, I don't want to hear it. You're a fucking asshole. Which is how I feel, right? But then, you know, if I just go 100% against him, the outcome is a bit worse for Anna. So then I've played again with sort of letting the Baron try to change because he really does want to change and if you do that it ends up better for Anna like that might sound really weird now but you'll see because she's in some really deep messed up stuff right now and she needs she really needs help so if we so the I'm going about the way I am going about things the way I am for in the best interest of Anna so I just want to say that I act I do think the Baron is an absolute fucking arsehole but I'm just thinking about what's good for Anna signs of a fight in the room hole in the wall wine all over the landing was that you I we tussled she tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick but kept missing hit the wall and the pillar instead I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless. On bloody sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. 
That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Hmm. Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Okay, everyone. Sorry, this isn't the best place to end it. Um, I probably should have said that I'd come back later, but I don't want the video to go too long. So, I'm gonna end it here. In the next part, we will, you know, deal with the botchling in the nice way. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now.